Hello, Mojo. Nobody's in here. <laughs> All right, so this is where we left off yesterday. Um, I don't think I filmed it, but I used a giant torch, uh, a cutting torch, and cut off the bolts of the sink because they were too rusty. Um, this is the frame that we have so far. Justin is a very good learner, a very fast learner, and a very proficient welder. Uh, and I was happy to share the knowledge that I got from Mike and Badge uh, and the guys at Colorado Custom Coach Works to show him my remedial <laughs> welding skills, which is good enough, right? Like it doesn't. This is going to be covered, so it might look out ugly, but it's not for. Uh, it's on. It's not on display. It's structural. So today we are going to cut up some metal. And it looks like these guys are already at it. Uh, we have a plasma cutter. We're going to try and cut some metal pieces and. Um, we're just going to continue rebuilding with the steps here, and uh, it's pretty cool. Let's go take a peek. I just want to take a brief second to thank Rafe Langston. I know I, I, I always get his name wrong. It's a little hard for me to pronounce, so if it's, I think it's Rafe or Rafey, but uh, thank you so much for joining Patreon. So a couple videos ago, I had a little rant, and I was a little frustrated, and I was trying to communicate as best I could a couple things going on uh, as far as people getting harassed online and things like that, just because people have a Patreon. Now, me personally, I've invested tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, I have made tens of thousands of dollars from sponsors, and that's how I keep myself on the road. Um, and so with a hypothetical situation of having a breakdown, uh, actually one of my friends and someone I look up to drew some similarities between it and I, I just want to say um, I apologize for throwing out a hypothetical situation because in fact I was definitely not referencing uh, this person or anyone in particular uh, when I was mentioning the I'm up a you know, creek without a paddle type of thing um, and I guess what I was trying to do is differentiate my the way that Patreon is seen, um, and for me, like I said, it's easier to think it, about it as like a tip jar. Um, you know, I used to open a can of beer. Someone would gladly give me a dollar uh, or, or two, and, and, and it was like nothing. And so I, I think what I was trying to communicate was that I'm out here <laughs> spending hours and hours on videos, tens of thousands of dollars over almost three years. Uh, uh, tens of thousands of miles and thousands of hours working on this and, and so it's like a double-edged sword because uh, us YouTubers definitely feel um, you know we feel under attack sometimes uh, and, and really we are, are putting out uh, content from our own pockets for people to consume uh, without any payment whatsoever and to be quite frank the ads from YouTube unless you are a very large channel 50,000 or above do not pay the bills and it is essential uh, that if you want to continue with this type of lifestyle or this for me this personal dream of traveling and sharing it as entertainment uh, you know it, it, it it's very helpful and so I just wanted to uh, apologize to my friend for any um, sort of uh, uh, similarities uh, with that because I, I, I was at first I didn't understand the message I was reading and then I was like oh crap absolutely not am I trying to, to you know um, infer that that someone is not uh, deserving of uh, help <laughs> when, when they have trouble uh, it was more just to, a kind of uh, to let people know this is a situation and trying to be transparent uh, and throwing out my situation as an example uh, and and nothing more than that. So I was very I was just overly apologetic and cautious of of me explaining that situation. I hope that makes sense because um, I'm definitely not trying to call anyone out whatsoever. 
um, especially not a friend of mine. All right, so uh, he's just going at it right now, by the way. Uh, Glenn sh uh, told him how to operate this thing, didn't show him how to operate it, and he's just going for it. So um, I think I know what he's doing, but to explain, he's um, cutting the metal to recreate part of the, um, the lip where it touches the doors. Also, if anyone hasn't noticed, I put a gigantic list of thank yous at the end of my videos from now on. I didn't know how to properly thank everyone on a regular basis, the people who have uh, uh, helped me out uh, with, with different jobs along the way. And um, so I, I put them at the all at the end of them. And there's a lot of people who don't even know that they're thanked. So if you've helped me out on this video, um, please watch it to the end of this video because you might be pleasantly surprised. And if I forgot someone, um, please let me know and I will gladly include them in that because I, as you know, this took a completely different direction. It's been this giant collaboration and I am so thrilled to have had such an amazing experience, uh, you know, building with so many um, just fantastic people. And even though this thing has been a pain in the butt, uh, that is my personal problems, <laughs> right? Uh, I do get a little frustrated from time to time. Um, but that's just all about managing expectations. And, and honestly, if you can manage expectations in life, life just becomes a little bit easier to deal with, you know, and also prepare for the unknown. Wait, speaking of Morant, wait, was I supposed to put the washer on the back? Yeah. <laughs> did you put it on the front? I did. Don't worry, you can edit this. <laughs> I like to keep it real on this channel. I put the washer on the front. That's just a fact of life. Usually it's someone else when I say we, but this one is me. I am uh, putting and bolting back on, I don't know, we'll just call it the swivel mount for the uh, steps, which don't exist yet. <laughs> All right, so the thing that Justin Plasma cut is just to uh, bump out and make flush this, uh, I don't even know, bottom step, I guess we'll call it. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, we'll fill it full of weld, so it doesn't really matter if it's off. It's just more of a, a, a consistent width or uh, something we could work with. All right, so. We just clamped uh, angle iron on angle iron, and uh, Justin's just gonna weld it up. And after, uh, what do we think? Pretty good for a, uh, a first timer. I am not speaking from a wealth of knowledge, but my uh, small amount of knowledge was enough for Mojo Bus to complete this job. All right, here is a, uh, an update on the oil. Um, let me take a sample. Let me take a sample out of the uh, tank. It is coming out the color of... Badge is gonna like this one. It's coming out the color of maple syrup. Look at that. A nice amber color maple syrup, completely clear, and uh, it just gorgeous, right? No debris whatsoever. You can, if you can see that. It's like, you know, like a dark beer, like a Sam Adams. Like a good beer, you know? good beer. Uh, so, many people are wondering about the denim jeans situation. And let me just show you how well the denim jeans uh, filter out debris. I'm just gonna scrape on the inside of the denim jeans with my fingers, and I'll, I'll show you all of the residue left over from the jeans. This is all the nasty bits. This is the sludge that was coming out of the bottom of the tank when I first opened it, if you did see that video. Um, it is all sorts of, of carbon, 
there is a little motor oil in this batch, um, but it is. This is all. Everything the denim jeans are catching is right here, and this was what was previously clogging my uh, my filter because it was not sufficiently filtered enough. Uh, I've done a, a bunch of homework on YouTube. People recommend filtering down to the smallest amount possible, 1 micron, 0.5 microns, 2 microns, and then putting it in your tank and then having a 10 micron filter on the way to the uh, engine. So this is all sorts of artery clogging, injector clog clogging garbage. So I just want to give you guys a little update on that. All right, picking up where we left off. This is the following day. I donated some rattle trap. Mojo is welding in the side supports. And I just heard rumor that you might put astroturfer. Is that right? No. That's a terrible joke from Glenn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got bad joke Glenn in there laughing his ass off. It's all right. Astroturf. I changed his name at Ace Rewards, so well, I got him good. Anyways, uh. As a little thank you to these guys for all the hard work they've done for me. Got them an upper radiator hose, thermostat, thermostat housing, and a fuel filter. All right, guys, here's the update. I took off my suit. Why? Well, I got this off, and guess what? I snapped the uh, the nuts or the bolts in there. So I'm gonna go buy a new uh, water pump. We got the water hose off. That's a newer version, the kind that is not supposed to rub into. The AC right here, but I feel you know so much more comfortable doing mechanics than I do carpentry. It's kind of funny, just kind of where I gravitated towards. But uh, we're gonna get Mojo Bus all fixed up, and uh, just a small token of my appreciation. Uh, and he's gonna help me out <laughs> and try and finish the rest of the bus next week. So it's a great trade in my in my opinion, and also a little payback for all the custom cabinetry as well. Come look at the stairs. All right, he's proud of the stairs that he made. <laughs> Looking Move good. <laughs> you guys might uh, recognize some of the rattle trap. He's going to cover the whole thing with more rattle trap. And um, yeah, and then build in a little shoe cubby. All right, we are midway through. We got off the uh, fan clutch, fan blade, uh, fan, sorry, the fan. And then, um, yeah, and all that lower, you know, radiator hose, uh, sensor. Uh, so we just have, it's basically just, you take the bolts out, uh, you put it back on, that's it. To simplify it. Look, Ma, I'm learning. We, this is the, uh, first water pump I've ever taken off. And, uh, it is nice to learn how to do things like this. Even if you accidentally, <laughs> accidentally break off a screw, uh, a bolt, like right there. And like right here so sorry I broke your bolt dude <laughs> I got a new water pump right there you go water pumps on me Hello. all right so we got the bus back put together just like we started but we just went in reverse let's check down here with Justin wait a second Justin why are you draining the coolant again just sounded like a good idea <laughs> 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 You're not going to believe this. We're going to have to do the whole job over again. It's leaking from the water pump. I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. It's going to be an awesome time. Aren't you excited? At least we know what we're doing this time. <laughs> <laughs> At water pump times two, while I was getting myself ready, grabbing a new gasket, Sleepy. this... this Sleeping in. And sleeping in. Thank you, Glenn. This is what happened to our gasket that came with it. Uh, for some reason, it got sucked up and one of the blades chewed it and uh, spit it back out. And so, Justin took all this stuff off by himself in one hour. That's what happens when you do things, when you go to water pump boot camp, we'll call it. So, anyways, we got some uh, water pump uh, gasket maker, and I'm sure... Somebody already knows that we should have done this to begin with. People like Badge and uh, other mechanics, but we're going to put this around 
where the gasket is and try to not make two mistakes twice. All right, you see some shiny new things. We got a uh, new uh, belt tensioner and uh, a new, I think it's called an idle pulley. That bad boy right there. And uh, since I was on the bottom yesterday, we we're, uh, were swapping, so uh, my, my back my back hurts. <laughs> I've been uh, use muscles I haven't been using for a while. I'm sure all you mechanics know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, so we got a new one of this, a new one of these. You know, it's funny buying this whole part here was just as expensive as buying these individual parts with bearings. So uh, yeah, a lot of new shiny parts on this bus. On a scale of one to old man, I'm feeling like retired, <laughs> or maybe just tired. But uh, we got it done. I just want to say thank you guys for all your thank help you. on my bus and like I said it is a pleasure that I could assist you guys with everything we did here thank you. Thank so you. no thank you guys I, I still no, I, I still have a, a big debt going on with these guys here. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna end this video we finished up we put it back together Every, everything is life is puppies and ice cream we got that done we still gonna uh, um, work on the steps that's pretty minor because they're already welded in we'll let you know after we drive Catch you guys in the next video. Down in the blue. Down